with the Camp Cretaceous DLC came out last week. Now in total, we have 3 hybrids in Jurassic World Evolution 2. But who is the best hybrid? Welcome in everyone, it's your boy Spartan and we're back on some Jurassic World content. I feel like I was left something about this DLC that I haven't covered yet and here we are talking about all the hybrids. Now before you say anything, uh, I'm not doing the strongest hybrid video. By the best, I mean the overall ranking because I'm gonna judge them based on their uniqueness and how interesting the dinosaurs are. Now before the video starts, make sure to give it a like because it helps me with the algorithm if you want to of course. And also consider subscribing if you're into dinosaurs or any other gaming content. So yeah, let's just get started. Number 1, we have Indominus Rex. As the first hybrid introduced in the game, everyone already knew by now the dinosaur is massive and can camouflage, which is the only dinosaur that has the ability. Indominus also very strong, even with its base stats and its fighting animations also slightly unique. I say slightly because it doesn't really stand out but quite noticeable. It uses its hands for finishers and in Evolution 2, it can communicate with, uh, with the raptors just like in the movie. Uh, by the way, the update came out with Camp Cretaceous last week so it's just like a new addition to the game. Design-wise, it's a bit carnivore but that's it. It looks pretty but it's similar with other dinosaurs. I mean sorry, other car carnivores. It has, uh, it has some quills behind its head. Remind me of those uh, Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors, but yeah, those are very similar reference to that. Number 2, we have Indoraptor. One hybrid from Fallen Kingdom DLC. Indoraptor is a medium carnivore that can engage with small carnivores. Its animation is very unique against almost every category of the dinosaurs since Indoraptor's body proportion is different from the others. This is one of the kind dinosaurs in my opinion. It's a quadrupedal dinosaur but can go bipedal on certain occasions. Indoraptor also attacks flying reptiles if they're close enough and if the animation is triggered of course. Unlike Indominus Rex, Indoraptor doesn't get along with anything unless with the other Indoraptor. Or maybe comes on Actus, but no one has actually have interactions with Compton Arms and Actors unless uh, it's a small carnivore. And last one, we have Scorpius Rex. The latest addition from Camp Cretaceous DLC. Scorpius Rex is different compared to other hybrids since its offensive weapons are the tail and the venom. Yes, similar to Trodon, Scorpius Rex can poison other dinosaurs upon contact. Its animation is unique against medium carnivores because it's a loop animation that looks like a finisher. You know, uh, it dropped down the Allosaurus in this video and yeah, but it's, it's pretty unique though in my opinion. And it's also interesting nonetheless. Looking at Scorpius Rex's design, I'm not a fan of its design honestly, it looks ugly, its hands are abnormally long but it has some pretty nice skin options though. So there were the 3 hybrids we have so far, when it comes to uniqueness, they have their own uniqueness as cliche as it sounds. <laughs> but my favorite is still Indoraptor. Maybe it's because their interactions with other dinosaurs are just very interesting. But again, this is a subject subjective take since I don't really care about skins so my main focus is on the animations. But what do you guys think? What's your favorite hybrid out of those three? Let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to give it a like if you like it, give it a dislike if you don't and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. And also huge thanks to all the members that keep supporting the channel, especially tier 2 and tier 3. Uh, really means a lot to me. It keeps uh, me growing the channel a little bit more. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.